Before you mount the fun caster, you want to select an area that is out of direct sunlight and hopefully out of direct contact with water. So uh, it, uh, some of the better areas include the bottom side of uh, your uh, golf cart roof. Uh, the area, uh, uh, many times people will attach these to their uh, rear view mirror. Uh, there's a number of places you can uh, attach the unit where it will be out of direct sunlight and not likely to get uh, drenched with water. Now, if it happens to get wet, it will become very erratic, maybe stop working altogether. Uh, if that occurs, uh, take the battery uh, cover off, remove the batteries, uh, pat the unit dry as, uh, as much as you can, uh, maybe tap it on something not too hard uh, to see if you get any water out of the unit. And then uh, put the unit in uh, the sun or someplace where it's nice and warm and toasty dry and uh, leave it there for overnight, 24 hours, something like that. And uh, put the batteries back in. You may want to put a fresh set of batteries in at that time. But um, putting the batteries back in and so forth and covering it back up, uh, we, uh, we believe that 99% uh, of the time the unit will come right back on and work fine. So, uh, but uh, the, the trick is to do that quickly. If the unit happens to get wet, uh, don't leave it wet for a long time. Dry it off, get it dried out, and uh, it should continue to work. So uh, you want to mount the unit uh, where uh, it, the surface is clean and uh, that's about it. There's not a lot of uh, worries that you have out of the direct sun where it's clean and uh, it would, uh, should work just fine. Following uh, installation of the batteries, uh, again, uh, watch the polarity and uh, maybe want to spin them a little bit to make sure they're making good contact. Uh, slide the cover uh, back over the uh, battery compartment and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now your unit is operational. Now uh, um, to set uh, the time and so forth it's quite easy. Uh, you simply hold the set button down here you'll see uh, the buttons uh, we'll get them up here set up down and bar now uh, the set button uh, just simply uh, hold it down until the hour begins to flash uh, let's say we want to set the time to 302 so we would uh, then you'll see that as we go up we're in the AM mode you can see the AM there in the corner and uh, we really want to be in the PM mode because it's 3 PM. So we go the other way and uh, hit the down key. And now we're into PM as you can see it. And we're at 3 PM. So now we uh, uh, tap the uh, set key one t more time. And uh, it's at 301. So we want to move it up to 302. Oh, we went too far, uh, so we just hit the down key again and get to 302. We hit the set key one more time, and that's the time. It's all set. There's nothing else you need to do. Now, uh, you'll see that you have the temperature and humidity, and you'll see the F there after temperature, which means Fahrenheit. And uh, we can change that back and forth by hitting the... Uh, down key. You see the down button here and uh, now it's uh, Celsius. One more time it's Fahrenheit, one more time it's Celsius so you can just choose whichever you prefer. Now once you uh, have that done uh, you'll see that you also have the time. Uh, if you'd like to see the barometric pressure uh, and uh, that is in a uh, uh, the, the mercury derivation. Uh, there are several choices that uh, barometers can be um, displayed, uh, but that's the one we chose because it's uh, the most popular in uh, the United States and uh, Europe, 
and uh, so uh, that is changed back and forth with the bar key which means barometer so we push that button down and we see that the barometric pressure is 30.00 which is kind of the midpoint uh, actually fortunate that it came up at this particular point but this is the uh, barometric pressure that kind of is the midway between good weather and bad weather above this chances are the weather's going to be pretty good and below this the chances are the weather is not going to be as nice so that kind of gives you a round figure but if you're a boater or uh, uh, someone who watches the weather more closely uh, these barometric pressure readings can give you a little more information and uh, they're handy to have so uh, uh, we recommend this product for boats as well as uh, homes offices uh, and of course golf carts which is the dominant uh, place that they're used so now we have the uh, various uh, numerical uh, in information that the unit provides uh, now we'll switch over to the weather graphic the weather graphic gives you the barometric trend that is which way is the uh, barometer going is it going up is it going down or is it kind of staying steady and right now it sure shows it's steady now uh, the very fact that we just turned the unit on would tell us that uh, we really can't depend on that information at the moment because it has to kind of get used to things and take readings over a period of time so uh, until that happens uh, we can't really uh, um, fault whatever it might say and compared to the actual conditions that we might be in so uh, those different graphics uh, are shown on this uh, sheet that comes with the unit uh, uh, some instructions tells you the time setting information so forth the things I've just uh, went over and you'll see that it has three different uh, choices of uh, or, or three different readings that will give you regarding the, the uh, uh, barometer uh, up down up uh, steady or falling and then it has uh, um, six different uh, weather condition graphics clear sunny partly sunny mostly cloudy possible rain rain likely um, storms if uh, the storm setting with the lightning and so forth if you see that flashing you want to make sure that you're have some cover or something like that because that means uh, the it's a very serious uh, storm that you're in and then uh, we have snow here uh, for those uh, unfortunate uh, ones of you that live up in the north where they have snow um, and uh, no that's not true actually I'm from Michigan where there's plenty of snow but uh, uh, anyway you can uh, this unit will actually give you uh, an idea of whether there's snow on the way or not so you have uh, those uh, readings that uh, are uh, going to be on average six to eight hours before the conditions occur and this unit is what we call an ambient weather guide so that means it's what the weather is right near you uh, if you're uh, used to getting weather from your airport and it's 10 or 20 miles away well that's not necessarily going to match up what this unit's going to give you at your actual location so uh, it's uh, going to give you the weather where you're at in advance six to eight hours roughly uh, sometimes that might be four hours and sometimes it may be ten hours but it's working uh, in advance of what the conditions are going to be so uh, there you have it this is our uh, uh, funcaster barometer uh, we have had a lot of improvements it's larger easier to see uh, and uh, we've uh, added some technical advancements like these uh, little louvers that you see underneath that uh, help the uh, barometer stay uh, uh, more accurate more quickly uh, it uh, keeps the uh, pressure inside uh, the uh, plastic case of the unit uh, the same as it is outside so it uh, can uh, reflect the changes more rapidly that occur around uh, the unit so uh, we hope you enjoy it we hope you understand uh, how it works we stand behind it 
If you have any questions, please call us. We're always happy to answer questions, or if something doesn't work right, let us know. We're always happy to uh, do whatever it takes to make sure you're happy with whatever you purchase from us here at TechScan. Thank you so much.